Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems but before we begin guys I hope you all had a good Christmas and enjoyed that little um, simulation I gave you guys as a present I guess um, it seems a lot of you guys really like that so yeah definitely go ahead and download that if you um, want it yeah the Christmas gift with the um, all of those object templates I'm pretty sure a lot of people who don't mod would really really want that so yeah it's, it's there if you want it the link and all that if you want to get that just go to the link in the simulation of the description of that video and then you can get that amazing simulation of all of those um, objects but anyways yeah moving on as well we hit 5,800 subscribers and actually at 5,818 so yeah it is getting close can we get 6,000 before the year ends I, I'm not sure we can but it was, it was we, we did well we did close we got quite close um still time though but Maybe we can get 5-9, maybe uh, set that as our goal, I guess. Um, yeah, but just a massive thanks to everyone who subscribed since the last video, because it's been two days since I've uploaded, obviously, because Christmas and all that. So, um, yeah, 5,818. So, yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to everyone who um, um, continues to watch every day um, and everyone who has recently subscribed. It's much, much appreciated, and I hope you enjoy my videos um, if you're new. Um, but anyways, yeah, we have got one simulation today from Cyrus Plays from my Discord. So, I... Um, I don't know if I have a link to him, but if I um, if I can find a comment from his, I'll leave a link to it um, in the description. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. So, this system is called the Gem System. And actually, one thing I don't like about this update, it doesn't say Universe Sandbox 2 anymore, if you look there. It just says Universe Sandbox. That's pretty weird. Um, yeah, so it's called the Gem System. So, Gem. Here we go. So, let's see what he's got for us. So, yeah, just one system. I could only find one. So, right, there we go. All right. So this is a solar system with two stars and a starship called Sun Incinerator, which can incinerate suns, ready to fire at the main star in order to do so the end is nigh. Alright, so um, here we go. So, okay, we've got like a whole system of planets here, very cool. I'm liking the naming in this as well, so I guess we'll just start here then. Alright, so Alpha Sapphire, so this is looking um, pretty cool. I like the name of the system on this. So 145 luminosity of sun, free mass, um, radius, let's compare it to the sun. So there we go, there is the sun, so a little bigger. I think it's a little bigger than um, Sirius as well. Yeah, a little bigger. So um, there is that. All right. So first up, we've got Carrot Seven. Oh, Carrot Carrot Seven B, not Corot Seven. B. Okay, so Carrot Seven B. So there it is. There. So he's um, gone for orange and black color female, looking very um, hellish, very hellish like world there. Ooh, for all volcanic. It's like a scorched desert. This isn't it. Um, so yeah, there it is. There. Looking very um, nice indeed. So, Carrot 7B. Next up, we got Zeta Amethyst. Ooh, I'm liking this. So, a glowing purple object there. That's looking really fine indeed. And it's also got a little uh, moon around it as well. Check that out. So, yeah, there it is there. That is looking really cool, actually. So, there we go. Nice purple indeed. Then it's also got Amethyst Miner down here. So, this is actually a cloudy magenta or pink sort of colored object here. That's looking pretty nice. 400 degrees. So it's like a Venus underneath, a pink sort of Venus. That's looking really cool. So, yeah, there it is there. Just got quite a cool view of the parent planet as well. Let's get a little surface. I know a lot of people do ask me to land on the surfaces, so... There we go. Oh, that's looking... Imagine seeing that in the sky. Oh, that, look, that, that is quite cool, actually. That pretty much be in the sky permanently with how large and close we are to that. So, yeah, there it is there. And obviously, it's setting now, but not for long, as it will literally pop up. Oh, no, it doesn't even set. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't even set there. So, it rises up. So it literally just goes up, down, up, down, but it never actually fully sets, as you can see here. That's quite cool, actually. So that is a permanent sort of view in the sky for anyone who lives on that part of the planet. So obviously, if you're facing away, you're probably not going to see it as much. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So Amethyst Miner, very nice. All right, next up, we've got Beta Jasper. So these are all named off gemstones. Um, so yeah, we've got Jasper here. So this is a golden orange coloured object, all like in this. So it's 400 degrees as well, so also quite a um, hot object as well, so a hot desert sort of planet there. And it's also got a few moons around it as well. That's a little Mimus, yes, is that a Mimus? It's definitely one of those little minor objects there, that's not Mimus. Um, so then we have this one here. There's Mimus, with that crater on it. And then we've got one more at the end, which is just a asteroid. So there are all of those guys, alright, cool. So Beta Jasper. Uh, next up, we got Fire Agat. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. So this is a um, pretty nice looking gas giant. So it's a dark red in the top, dark red at the bottom, and then more of a lighter orange 
in the middle there. That's looking pretty uh, menacing, isn't it? So there's a full view of it. So yeah, dark red in the north and south, and it goes orange near the equator. That's looking really cool. So it's quite a hot gas giant as well. Okay. Um, this object is not made by me, so don't sue me for copyright. Oh, it's the marble object. So yeah, here it is. So it's that tiny little... Yeah, this this stupid thing. I, I don't get this object at all. This is one that's always confused me, the marble object, that little thing there. So, um, yeah, that is that. It's been in the game for a long time, but it doesn't look like a glass marble to me, so I don't know what's up with that. And that's actually one of the textures you can get on the rocky planets. So I don't know what's up with that thing at all. All right, next up we've got... Um, oh, hello. This one's Volcanic... Volcanian. So he's got a few more of these um, little... Um, things around it as well the marble and it's got an io nice yeah but it look, this is one of those fire god planets with the crazy class these are so cool i wish we saw more of these in different colors because the only color i've really ever seen in the system by one of you guys is the yellow a yellow version i don't think we've seen a single other color we need more of these these are these are really these are like even rarer than those um gas giants with atmospheres now this is probably the rarest type of modding at the moment this is the proper top stuff i'm guessing maybe, maybe it's harder maybe it isn't i don't know how hard it is to make these and i don't know how hard it is to make the um gas giants of um atmospheres since i'm not really that good of a modder but i don't know which one's harder maybe you models can let me know down below but is this harder to make than the gas giant with um atmospheres because these are a lot rarer than the gas giants of atmospheres like these are a lot rarer to see but nonetheless it looks absolutely amazing with the blue underneath it's actually is this actually hattable oh, let's have a look oh it is well it's got like a greenish sort of jungle look to it let's um check these stats so 96 and 76 so that is pretty cool imagine uh seeing all those clouds in the sky as well because the good thing about objects like this is when you look up from the surface, it actually looks like you have a sky rather than just looking into the space. So let's just actually land here. If we go under the clouds, we actually have a legit sky. Like, that is a sky. Instead of having the, um, if we go up, instead of just looking out into space like we normally do, these cloudy objects actually have a proper sky to them, which is really, really cool. Like, I'd love to see someone do this to a Venus so we got a Venus with like really, really visible red clouds. We need to see that. I'd, I'd love to see that. We definitely need to see clouds like this with some of the solar system objects. Like maybe we could re reinvent the dust storm Mars and have a dust storm Mars with clouds like this. Maybe that could look quite cool. Like we definitely, we need to try this with, especially with Venus. I really want to try clouds like that with a Venus. Someone, someone make that and put it in a system. It'd look amazing. But yeah, look, they literally have a proper sky with these clouds. It looks so cool. So much better than just seeing into space like it, it, it just gives it a little more um personality i guess like it, it, they look so cool I, I love these um i just call them fire god planets because that was the name of like the first one i ever saw i think but yeah these these in ultra intense clouded planets are so cool so yeah there is that and then we have io as well 21 degree io all right so that is really cool all right next up we've got delta lapis lazuli and oh this is nice not seen this oh it's got rings as well oh black and neptune sort of blue color there that is cool this shadow glitch is quite annoying is that oh it's because is it because of the little moon there oh no it's not it's just that stupid star glitch okay let's fix that but yeah that looks really nice not seen anything like this before this is the first time i've ever seen this blue and black one and that is definitely not disappointing in any way this looks this looks really cool damn that is so cool because sometimes we get people who reuse others' objects, I've noticed. But this is all fresh. Never seen this before. This is that's such a nice gas giant. Blue and black. That is a really really nice colour blending with that as well. That. Oh, I really like that. That is that is a very nice gas giant. Then it also has a moon around it as well. Yeah, definitely nothing disappointing in this system. This is really cool. So we have um, another, mostly an ocean world. There's a bit of land here, you can see. Um, the stats on this are 94 and 87 there. All right. So not bad. But yeah, that gas giant. Let's get a view of that from the little surface of this little guy. So let's have a look up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. So let's play. So this is what you'd be seeing. Let's also go in realistic mode. Oh, yeah, look at that. Imagine that in the night sky. Those rings as well. Oh, yeah. That is cool. So that'll be up in the sky. I'm getting eclipsed right now, but oh. So then we're going into the daylight again. Or oh, we can see the planet on the day again. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
seeing that in the sky, it's darker at this little moon right now because we're on the dark, we're on the side away from the star. But seeing that in the sky, that probably would the reflection that would give would probably light this up as long as it reflects light, of course. But yeah, that that's cool. I really like that gas giant. It's actually the blue and the black color theme. That's really really cool. So yeah, definitely well done on that. And the rings look really cool as well. So yeah, Delta Lapis Lazuli. All right. So next up, we are going to the Omega Ruby. So this is a little um, star as well. Also got a few planets around it. So Omega Ruby, this is tiny. Literally, it's only a few um, thousand bigger than um, Jupiter, I want to say. But there's it compared to Proxima. So it's a little smaller than Proxima there. So yeah, compared to Jupiter though, it's not that much bigger as you can see. This is 83,000, um, Jupiter's 69,000. So yeah, pretty close. So yeah, Mega Ruby. Next up we got Pearl. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So, oh, it's getting lit up from the other star slightly as well, but yeah, there it is. So, let's check the stats on this. So, this is at 16 degrees, 93 and then 81 on the stats. Not bad. So, any land on this little guy? Oh, there's a bit of land, you can see. Yeah, there's, there's some land there. So, it's got a white atmosphere as well by the look. Yeah, that's a white atmosphere. So, looking good. So, there is Pole. And then last up, we got Emerald. So, we've got a green. Ah, oh, the greens are never disappointing either. These green, green objects always look amazing. The atmosphere... And, and the clouds as well. They are some definitely some of the best looking atmosphere and clouds. I mean, look how cool the clouds look. We, should, we need to see an ultra intense clouded green one. Like that fire god planet back there. Those crazy, crazy clouds. We need a green version of that. It would look amazing. We, we definitely need a green one of that because that would be so cool. But yeah, there is Emerald there. So let's check the stats on this as well. So we've got 81 and 3 on this. So I'm guessing something's up with the atmosphere to make it only 3. Is it just... There's a surface, yeah, the surface pressure is only 0.1 ATM or 0.10, yeah, that'd be 10%. So, yeah, that's not the, um, not the, um, heaviest of pressures. And also, humans can't really survive in low pressures. We can survive in higher pressures, but lower pressures, humans, humans won't be able to survive in that. So that's why. But if you, if you buff this to one, I reckon the stats would improve yeah look instead of being free it's now 31 so yeah low surface pressure just doesn't work with humans or life as we know it. I, I don't know if it's all life no it can't be all life I'm, i know humans for a fact we can't survive in low surface pressure but if you increase it it does increase the stats so that's a tip if anyone um, wants to get those stats higher but yeah i don't think he was going for the stats on that at all but yeah really really cool looking planet with the visuals though. oh looks that looks really cool and he's got climate mode on it as well we can see the um, north pole there and he's got a bit in the south as well, yeah, with the snow. Really, really cool. Client mode's always nice to add a little extra colours to it. Okay, so there are those two. So that's it for the planets. And then uh, we have this sun incinerator thing. So this is that tiny little probe which he mentioned about at the start of the system. So if, actually, we'll just reopen it. So let's go back in here again. So that's the sun incinerator. And this thing's job is to if we, um, open it. So this is a solar system with two stars and a starship called sun incinerator, which is this, which can incinerate suns, ready to fire at the main star if given order to. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and fire it at the main star. So we're going to go ahead, click play. And we're going to fire it like that. There we go. So we've just shot. We've used the sun incinerator. We've just shot at the big star there. Like he said. So we're going to play out what he um, said in that message. So it seems to have created a very nasty supernova. Which will probably destroy all the planets in there. But I gave it order to. So <laughs> yeah, it's exploded now. So let's see um, if anyone survives this. So it's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe he was giving me a hint when he clicked that or when he mentioned that about when it's given order to to see it. maybe it was a hint or maybe it's just me thinking oh it would be quite cool to do but um yeah supernova is definitely going to engulf the other stars well but will the other stars planet survive or not the sun incinerator will probably be fine it's quite far away from that but yeah the sun incinerator has um completely incinerated it it's probably the right word for it like it's completely destroyed it what probe is this well actually what pro is this a i think that's the cassini probe isn't it is this the Cassini probe? What 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 probe? Oh, it's the Par. I think that's the Par. Is that the Parker? Yeah, it is the Parker. Ah, it's that one. Okay. See, that's the Parker space probe. So that's yeah, that's the one that orbits the sun as well. So sun incinerator. Right. So I think it's the one that orbits the sun. Pretty sure it is. So sun incinerator. Yeah, there's not really much left here. So let's speed it up. See if anything survives. So let's go to the center here. Is there a black hole or anything in there? Oh dear, it actually has destroyed it, pretty much everything. So we'll see the gas giant survive, because that's quite big. And we have the other gas giant. Pearl has survived. 
which is in orbit of this star. So both of this star's planets are alright, and then only the two gas giants and those those weird marble objects have survived. So that um, sun that got incinerated, all of the rocky planets around it were destroyed. And then all that's left are the two gas giants which are around it. Oh my god, look at the rings! Oh no! The planet's like being thrown out of its rings, oh no! Oh dear, that's a shame. So the rings are just being scattered across space now. There's the other one as well, the Zeta. And yeah, all the other little moons and stuff are all destroyed. So that Nova, let's delete, get rid of all that, has pretty much annihilated everything. So all that's left over is that. So the whole system was destroyed by that crazy um, sun incinerator there. So yeah, guys, that's a pretty cool system, I've said. A little, I like that. I like that. The um, little sun incinerator, because it sort of gave me a way to interact with the system there so that's quite cool so yeah the main star is ready to fire at it so yeah alpha sapphire caught wreck there but yeah anyways let's get a whole lineup of the whole system now so yeah here we go and this is my favorite by far that that is cool i really like that gas giant so yeah that is definitely my favorite and then favorite rocky planet the f the fire gold planet I, I, I love these clouded planets. They are so cool. We need more of these. If you got modders want to um, get something I really like, definitely make more of these. These are so cool. So, yeah, there we go, guys. So, yeah, let me know what did you think of um, Cyrus's um, system down below. Let me know in in the comments um, there. Let me know what you think because I thought this was quite cool on that. This is cool. I really like that gas giant. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Guys, if you want to send me your own ones as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. Then you can send me your systems there. And yeah, also subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to 6,000 subscribers, because like I said, we're getting really close to it, and it's absolutely crazy, so a massive, massive thanks to everyone again. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video as well, guys, because that would be absolutely amazing, it really helps out the channel a lot. And yeah, that pretty much is everything, guys, so make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.